What's up, guys? Wicked Clan 88 bringing you part 5 of this Elder Scrolls Skyrim walkthrough. Last I left off, I had just completed where I killed um, the first dragon and learnt my first word of power. I do have some of the add-ons. I actually have all three DLCs. I have uh, Dawn Guard, Hearth Fire, and uh, Dragonborn. I will be playing through those, but first I'm going to complete the main storyline where I fight Alduin. That gargoyle looks cool. Alright, we're here in Dragon's Reach, but we're going to leave and we're going to go to um, Iverstead and then up the mountain to the Greybeards. That is starting the main quest. So, yeah. But I'm going to AFK for a second. Be right back. head to Iverstead. Basically guys the quickest way I've found to go to Iverstead is to take the horse, uh, take the carriage to Riften and then go from Riften through the woods to Iverstead. And go that way. So, I'm hoping I've collected enough gold to go to Riften. You there. We're looking for someone in Viper. We'll pay good money for information. Did I'm having some graphic issues too, guys, so bear with me. Um, I know there's lines in my, in my game, but, you know. We're, we'll deal with it. <clears throat> Go down to the stable and tell that guy to take us to Riften. and we're gonna go straight right from the gate and straight to Iverstead through the woods it's a pretty long trip but it takes you exactly to where you need to be and I am kinda worried about the troll I might just go ahead and run past him I won't even fight him because it's it's a white troll and he's a lot more powerful than I am so yeah. 
we're not we're going to avoid him for now but basically what you want to do from here is you want to go straight this way Uh, guys, I am playing on PC. And I am playing on PC and I'm not using a controller. I am using keyboard and mouse. I do apologize. I know my walkthrough would probably be a lot more, a lot more quiet if I used a controller. But, you know, I don't have a 360 so I wouldn't have a 360 controller now if I could remember the right correct way to go that would be awesome and by all means this is the quickest way to go to High Harothgar. You gotta be careful here not to drop down too hard because you'll break your ass. <laughs> but, guys, this seriously is the quickest way to High Harothgar the way I'm going now. Um, because basically once you get here it's a straight shot to uh, it's a straight shot to Iverstead which is where High Hrothgar is for the Greybeards I was watching a streamer the other night and he pretty much didn't know have a clue what to do in the game so there I was in the chat talking and telling them what to do and what not to do and you know it was a mess but I'm basically going to yeah I'm gonna try to make these videos at least 30 minutes long As you can tell, I can see Iverstead in the distance. So we are getting there. I need to buy I need to buy a pickaxe so I can mine go, uh, ore for crafting armor and such but guys this seriously is the quickest way to high Hrothgar it takes a little bit but once you get past all these mountains and all this stuff you'll be there in no freaking time like you'll basically get there and like so quick I mean I'm kinda low on gold I could probably cheat and use a console command for money but I'm trying this thing where I try to play through the game as legit as possible so you guys don't miss anything. Alright. There's we're getting close. This game looks way more way more prettier on PC than what it does on console. Like you have a more graphic detail of your landscapes around you. 
See? I was not lying. There's Iverstead. And it didn't take me nowhere near as long as it would if you wanted to travel all the way from White Run. Just take you a carriage straight to Riften and go down the path that I went to and you'll be here in no time. Uh, now, as far as the crypt that the Greybeard sends you to, there's also a shortcut to that, too. You can go to, uh, Markov, not Markarth, uh, Morthal. You can take a carriage to Morthal and go straight to where you need to go. Um, you can work for this chick right here. She wants you to collect bear hides, but I'm not going to be doing any kind of side quests. I'm sticking straight to the main story. Now, I am doing this quest because he gives you 400 gold. I wish I could make my deliveries, mostly food. The graybeards tend not to get out much if you can't. Well, it's trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be. Really? Here, take this bag of supplies at the top of the... But other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. But the great beard is careful of that. Now, I waited until level 10 to do this mission once, and at the top of the mountain, I got attacked by a dragon, so, um, definitely want to do this quest at a low mission, at a low level, because if not, man, you will get attacked by dragons. Dragon attacks in this game are very you know very not really determined but like they're the AI it does its own thing in this game which is what I think is really cool like a dragon if you see a dragon flying in the air and you want to skip by them and you watch where you go and you don't get really close to underneath them you can actually get away from them I think that's really cool that's pretty smart in this game you know Yeah. Wolf. <laughs> All right, we're increasing in our two-handed. That's what I want. Cause I'm gonna stay strictly, strictly two-handed warrior because they're more powerful and they can hit a lot harder. I gotta admit it is challenging playing this game with a with PC keyboard and mouse. A lot of people that play this on PC they use a controller. I do not. I'm using mouse and keyboard so I can honestly say that I am on PC. If I remember correctly, we were getting very close to that troll. I mean, I could attempt to fight him, but I'll probably just die. So, yeah, we're getting really close to him. Oh, and there's a couple people, you know that I s recently subscribed to on YouTube um, they messaged me through Twitter and they was like hey man would you would you care to follow me I'm trying to you know grow my fan base and uh, I sent him a message back and I was like man I'm 
cool with that. I'll follow you. I don't care. And he stayed subscribed to my Twitter and my YouTube. And, you know, we... I don't... That's what I'm saying. I mean, if people subscribe to me and they stay, you know, they stay subscribed to me, I'll stay subscribed to you. But, you know, if you you unsubscribe from me I'm gonna unsubscribe from you I mean it's only right I'm not gonna stay subscribed to somebody that you know isn't gonna stick by me and you know help my help my ch oh shit why'd I stop help my channel grow because you know I want I wanted to be able to play my games and you know put my content up have people like it you know, if I'm wasting my time, then, you know, why am I doing it? It's because I really don't care about subscribers. I do it because I find it fun to do, and it gives me something to do. You know, it, it's a kind of a like, it's kind of like a hobby. It's something, you know, that I enjoy doing. And, you know, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna stop just because you know people are quitting, you know, unsubscribing. I'll do my own thing, you know. And if people subscribe to me, hey, that's cool, you know. But if people doesn't subscribe to me, it's fine by me. I really don't care. I mean, I care about my subscribers, the people that is subscribed to me. But like, I really. I'm not looking to really become famous, you know, I'm not, I mean, YouTube was probably a good way to make money, but, you know, it's basically, you know, I'm, I'm a hillbilly and, you know, people's not gonna really waste their time, you know, with, you know, a country boy that lives in the south, you know, is trying to you know, do good on YouTube, you know? Okay. We delivered his supplies, and we're gonna go talk to the Greybeards. I don't know how fast this playthrough is gonna be. I really don't. Because when I play Skyrim, I like to just, you know, lay back and relax. I don't really like to go all out with it. So, the dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Yes. <laughs> Master Andy, I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn. We will do our best to teach you how to. That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not. You have shown that you are dragon. But, do you have the discipline and the temperament to Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a boom. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, speak the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einhardt will now teach you Grove, the second word in unrelenting force. Grove means balance of the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fuss, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. a word. 
word of power. in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, we can absorb our slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of rope. I failed. I hit it too soon. Oh. 
your quick mastery of the new film is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragon. guys there's part five of this walkthrough and I'll pick up here where I left off in in the next episode till next time guys like subscribe comment favorite peace